For the first time in eight years, Knoxville voters will elect a new mayor. Mayor Madeline Rojero has served two terms. A half dozen people are competing for that job in the August primary and in the regular election in November. We're hearing from each of them in a series of interviews that this happens to be our last with candidate India Kincannon. She joins us to talk about city culture. We're talking about homelessness, affordable housing, and the economy. Great to see you again, India. So let's start with homelessness. I know that's something you've heard a lot of people talk about. Yeah, it's a really big issue and uh, a growing problem. And people in Knoxville have a big heart and they want to help. So I have some thoughts on that too. I do think we need to first and foremost treat our neighbors experiencing homelessness as people. Uh, who deserve a house and a place to live that's safe and secure. So I support the housing first strategy and I also support more permanent supportive housing. Minvilla Manor and Flanagan Landing, which are wonderful uh, public-private partnerships, are really working and we need another facility similar to that. Let's also move to affordable housing because this is something that may uh, be impacting the city more and more as we see development grow and we see more expensive uh, places come up to live near downtown. How do you attack the affordable housing element? Well, it's, it's a good thing that a lot of people want to live in Knoxville, mm -hmm. but what that means is there's more competition for the available apartments. So I support the provision of more, a greater supply of housing through the Affordable Housing Trust Fund, which, w which can uh, close financing gaps for private developers who are building that. And I also want to um, help out on the demand side. So build up people's skill levels through workforce development, training, apprenticeships. So instead of working two part-time jobs at minimum wage, they can wor work one part, one full-time job with benefits, earning 15, 20, and sometimes uh, with careers in welding and high-skilled carpentry, like $50 an hour. So that would help a lot too. Uh, that is part of the larger economy with the city. Um, and how, how do you see the mayor's role in making the economy stronger? Well, I watched your interview with Governor mm -hmm. Haslam uh, last week, and uh, he mentioned, and I totally agree, that the part of the mayor's job is to be the economic developer in chief. And I certainly want to play that role. And that means making sure we have a highly educated workforce, making sure I, as mayor, am selling the city of Knoxville and the region of East Tennessee in partnership with colleagues around uh, the region in partnership with the chamber and supporting small businesses, large businesses, and everything in between. At the end of your four years, is there a, a benchmark that you would say, hey, this, this is what I'd like to see as far as the overall economy in Knoxville, um, that you could help measure your success in a first term mm -hmm. as mayor? Well, I think a higher median income and more people earning higher wages so they can take care of themselves and their own families, that, that would be a great measure. Well, India Kincannon, we appreciate the conversations. Thanks yeah. so much. If you missed a few, you can check uh, our partners at WBIR.com. They have a full list of them. Again, thank you. My pleasure. Absolutely. We're going to turn it